So, Quasi Quarte, our smug, grinning git of a Chancellor, a man who truly delights in being as blatant as possible as his mini budget has shown, in telling the least well off to kiss off and die if they think they'll get any help from him. A man who seemed to delight in misery so much, the only time he seemed even more thrilled with himself was at the Queen's funeral. Yes, last week's mini budget was proper Tory bastard stuff, wasn't it? But it was so mind bendingly awful, so blatant in its give to the rich. Fuck the working class poor attitude. Even backbench Tories are wailing about it, particularly those in the red wall who know that disproportionately least well voters will be disgusted by this. Corteng has announced the biggest round of tax cuts since 1972. The consequences of that are worth doing a video on, incidentally. But setting that aside for now, the claim he's going to help everyone? Well, beyond your back, he'll have been doing this. Now, if you're an ordinary worker, there's no pay rise for you. Inflation will outmatch it. Between that and the freeze on the personal allowance, if you're a minimum wage worker, you'll be taxed an extra £1,500 by 2026. That won't be saving an income tax. It's bullshit. In fact, unless you're on over £155,000 a year, you're going to lose out, not gain. And if you're on as much as a million pounds a year, you're getting handed back £55,000 in tax savings. More for the very rich, cuts for the rest. Cortex still wasn't done with his bastardry, though. Roughly 120,000 universal credit recipients, some 40% of whom are already in work, will face having their benefits cut if they don't take steps to find more or better paid work, a move which will disproportionately affect lone parents, mostly women and young children. Whilst he does that, of course, though, he's also lifted the bankers' bonus cap so that their extremely high incomes climb even higher. That apparently doesn't stoke inflation, but asking for a wage increase so you have enough to live on does, because apparently telling these people 40 years of trickle-down economics just results in Quartain pulling this space. They know it doesn't work for country or economy. They can't not know. It's literally the equivalent of taking a tenner, posting it through the letterbox of the most affluent house in town and assuming it'll find its way back into your pocket again. But it does work for their donors and therefore their party. So they will not change and are now not even trying to hide the fact. They just keep on laughing in our faces.